Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to show you something totally awesome that you can do with really simple chords to make it sound so much more sophisticated. Um, so, whenever you have E, B, and A, okay? E, B, and A. Now, the very first thing that comes to my mind when I see this chord progression is this. Okay, is this. It's taking A and sliding it up to B, but still leaving the open first string and open fifth strings. And that gives me an A Lydian chord. Okay, which is really, really cool. You can think about it as B over A. So. The next thing you can do is you can use the second fret on the first uh, string with your first finger to solo over that chord. And you can also do it on the second string. Okay, so. Okay, and that that same note that you have. Okay, I'm I love to make it a little bit dirty by bending the third string. Okay, so it's not exactly the same note. You can also use your little finger for the 4th fret on the 1st string. And then when you go back to E, you can hammer on the one on the 3rd string. So you get all those open string sounds. you can lead into these changes by just arpeggiating the chords. So for example, what I did now was I arpeggiated the A chord. And then I moved into E. So I created... It sounds like a solo, but it's actually just the chords. Now you can also play A over E, okay, A over E is a cool chord, you can play A with the E bass, and you can also play B over E, you can play B over E. B over E is actually a really, really cool chord, it's E major 7 add 9, it's E major 7 add 9, so you can also play that, okay, you can do something like this. You can play it after A, you can play it instead of E. Now, you can just play around with this so much. I just played the chord and then the open E string and then another chord and then the open E string. And then I played E. It's really, really just the chords. I'm just playing the chords. I'm not adding anything else to them. I'm playing E, A, and B. I'm playing B over A, I'm playing B over E, okay? And I'm just opening strings. It's literally all in the chords. So just try it and see for yourself. Now, it might take you a little bit of, you know, of practice to get used to this idea, but just keep in mind that you can do anything you like. You can do anything you like, seriously, okay? Just find a good rhythm and just go crazy, go crazy. So if you want, um, you know, a lot more where this came from, you can check out my courses, guitarfreedom360.com. That's my course program. You have a ton of courses to choose from, so you can find exactly what you're looking for, especially with finger styles. So um, check it out, guitarfreedom360.com. I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.